It's time to talk entertainment on News 6 and 9, and that means it's time to mix it up. Look at that face. DJ from Mix 105.1 joins us now. It's our favorite time of the day. I love today. Yeah, and we don't have to share between three. I know. It's just like a different side. So I'm like, you know, trying to get used to being it's on this side. side. Oh, yeah. stop it. Oh, you stop it. All right. <laughs> so if you are a passenger falling asleep, can help time fly by if you're on like, stuck, stuck on one of those long flights. But for one Air Canada flyer, she woke up to kind of a scare on the plane. Yeah. Uh, this sounds... Like a nightmare. I don't know how this happens because I, I figured after you you deboard a plane, mm -hmm. they literally check every seat, look underneath, clean it out because they got to turn those planes around. Mm -hmm. Pretty quick, yeah. Uh, apparently that, did, that didn't happen to Tiffany O'Brien. She was flying from Quebec City to Toronto and it was only an hour and a half flight. She said she was reading a book, fell asleep halfway through, woke up at midnight to a pitch black tr uh, plane. She said she couldn't even see. So she was like looking oh around the cabin. Goodness. She's like, I was it. She's like, she went into the cockpit. But how? How do you follow? And how does nobody realize that there's somebody asleep yeah, so on an airplane? Ma'am, we're deboarding now. Hi, excuse me. Hello. Like I would like I would have picked her up and yeah. carried her off the plane. Um, and so of course Air Canada's like, hey, you know, we're gonna figure out how this happened. <laughs> they were because, ready to go. Yeah, they're like, they were like, <laughs> I mean, they just like, I'm tired. We're trying to save on overtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true. So I don't know how that happens. Um, so if you fall asleep on airplanes, I guess you know, make sure you tell your flight attendant now, like, hey, by the way, make sure yeah. to wake me up. By the way, I'm a heavy sleeper, so if you can do me a favor and give me a nice jolt. They I offered am. her like a limo and a hotel. Okay. She's like, I live here. Like, just let me go home. <laughs> just please don't ever let this happen again. It's like when the people get locked in the drug store, you know, yeah. like that's oh, happened yeah. several times. I would have gone to like where the mini alcohol bottles were and had myself More a party, snacks, you know, dude, right? Dude, right. <laughs> Kick back in the whole row. <laughs> That's the only time we'll get the whole row, Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. Nice leg room. Well, mm -hmm. you know, it's Pride Month. You're seeing lots more rainbows right now. Recently, a couple shared a touching letter after someone spotted their flag. And this is a really sweet story because sometimes, you know, people aren't nice. And this was, you know, the opposite of that. Someone saying something nice. This was such an amazing thing to see because apparently, um, I have the letter here and I want to read it because it's just, it's, it's amazing. This looks like it came from a, a child. Um, and it says, hello, you don't know me, but my name is, and they whited it out. We're moving away today, but I wanted to make uh, I wanted to thank you. Seeing a pride flag waving so proudly outside your house every day has given me courage to come out to my family and be more comfortable with who I am. And there's a pride flag um, in this uh, th this. They did you like a, a picture, yeah, and so it's there. just Aww. it's just absolutely touching, and it touched this um, couple that lives there because they said they live in a very conservative area, and they were nervous about flying their pride flag, um, but to see this and to and to know that they're making a difference in someone's life and making them comfortable with who they are, um, is just such an incredible thing um, for them. So. I love this. I think specifically in the time that we're in right now when there's a lot of division and a lot of back and forth, I think to see stories like this, it's just, it's touching, you know? Yeah. And specifically if you're making a difference in the younger generation. A little unity is always nice. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. you never know what somebody's going through. So, you know, hopefully that, that young person was able to be received in love and, and that maybe they have a new friend there too. Exactly. And I think this might, you know, inspire more people to, you know, to share these stories. And these are just our stories that make you feel good of people right. coming together, helping one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like the good news, especially here on News 6 at 9. Yeah. Well, we've been talking a lot about travel. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you're getting away for the 4th of July holiday. Lucky. But we're going to be at Lake Eola, so <laughs> that's the place to be, by the way. Uh, CJ, you have a very meaningful trip, though, that's coming up. I'm nervous because I have to fall asleep on a plane, so I hope <laughs> that that doesn't happen to me. Um, but we are. We're going to Ireland um, this weekend. Nice. Uh, my mom has been wanting to take this trip for over 20 years. And, are you Irish? Uh, yes. My, uh, my mom is second generation, so her great-grandparents oh, came wow. over from Ireland in the late 1800s. Um, so so it's, I'm learning all Very of this cool. about my family. And so my mom has wanted to take this trip for 20 years. And she kept saying, you know, I'd like to go. I want to go. And mm -hmm. I said, Mom, why don't we change that to I'm going? Mm -hmm. And within two weeks, we had a travel Good. agent. We put a down payment Fantastic. on the thing. So it just it's, it's, it goes to show you that a simple vocabulary shift and just a change in the mindset, you can really make yourself do anything you want. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's, you got to work a little harder to get there, put a little more money away, you know, just, you know, make sure you're spending in the right areas. But it can happen. And so... 
My mom, I'm sure she's watching right now. I'm sure she's bawling her eyes out thinking about it. She's cried 700 times, and I know when we when we land in Ireland, she's going to mm -hmm. be bawling her eyes so out. So do you have it planned out? You got it mapped out? Which yes, one some surprises? Yes, yeah, so we're going to, to we fly into Dublin. We're going to Galway, Killarney, Cork, and then back to Dublin. Um, we're going to the Cliffs of Moher. I'm going to oh. go to the Guinness Factory. Right, I'm going to eat my see, way. We want to see it all on the gram. <laughs> It'll so, all be on the gram. Yes. And I, I bought a GoPro, so I'm going to video Good. the whole thing too. So. That's going to be awesome. so much fun. I mean, my parents, they, they switched their mentality. They said, okay, the kids are out of the house. You know, everyone's taken care of. This is time for us. So they've never traveled abroad. And they did their first 10-day abroad uh, travel a couple weeks ago. And they're in pain. Amazing. They're exhausted. <laughs> but they're, they're but they so happy it. they did it. Yes. And it's just, it gives them that, that, that new opportunity. You're not going to regret it. You'll no. regret not going. Exactly. That's exactly so. it. And I'm assuming you're flying back for Wednesday and then flying back out. To yes, Ireland. just specifically <laughs> okay. for that. I you're will not going to miss this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll miss you on next Wednesday. Thanks, oh, CJ. Absolutely.